Hey guys, welcome back. Did someone order a, uh... Halo 5E3 2013 Theory. Yep, today we are finally discussing the Halo 5 E3 2013 trailer. That trailer that ended up having next to nothing to do with Halo 5's story, and the trailer that kept us guessing for almost five years now. Well, today we might have this trailer's first connection to the story. Just maybe. Now, I will preface this video with a disclaimer that this trailer might not be canon and it may have been nothing but a teaser for the potential of Halo on next-gen consoles. But as we all know, pretty much nobody believes this because everybody wants to see Poncho Chief. So, what's new with this trailer? Well, somebody spotted that there is a tiny crater on the planet in the background of Halo 5's legendary ending that is near identical to a crater on the planet in the background of the trailer. Near identical in size and shape and texture and almost everything. Now, yeah, that does seem pretty minor, right? And, well, that detail kind of is extremely minor, but if this detail does mean that it's the same planet, then everything just sort of starts to fall into place. If this is the case, and it is the same planet in the background of both, then it's safe to assume that the trailer is taking place after the events of the Halo 5 story that we got, and Chief is walking on whatever Halo ring we see at the end of it, with his cracked visor that he got during his fight with Locke. The reason that Chief is on the ring, with Cortana's chip on his own, is likely because he's trying to look for her, to try and stop her himself, or bring him in herself. If this does end up being correct, then it could give 343 an excuse to bring back the Rogue Chief plotline, the plotline that we all wanted in Halo 5 but never really got, where he realises that the UNSC can't stop her, so he takes it upon himself to do it, but anyways, I digress. The Halo ring that Chief is on, the one in the Halo 5 Legendary ending, could very likely be Installation 09, also known as the Halo ring from the end of Halo Wars 2, the one that Anders was on and that was pulled out of slip space by the Guardian. Now, the reason that Cortana sent a Guardian to Installation 09 in particular, and the reason that it could be the ring that she's turning on at the end of Halo 5, may have something to do with the information in the recent Halo loot crate. It really seems like these Halo loot crates are sort of very loosely teasing what's going to come with Halo 6, and I'm liking it so far. The lore drop in the recent loot crate paid very special attention to the fact that Cortana hid that she kept the activation index from Installation 04 from Chief. She then used the same activation index to activate Installation 08 at the end of Halo 3, so there's no reason that she couldn't then use the same index again to activate Installation 09, if she still has it, that is. I'm not entirely sure if she lost it when she activated Installation 08, but either way, this sort of clicks into place quite nicely. Now, I still have no idea why Cortana would want to fire a Halo, and I still don't think that she will do because it really doesn't make that much sense, but like I said, it it does fit quite well. Back on the Halo ring, Chief is looking for Cortana to try and stop her from activating the Halo, or from doing whatever she's planning on doing with it, and the Guardian that Chief encounters in the trailer could maybe be the Guardian that pulls it out of slip space. Maybe Cortana ordered that Guardian to protect the ring while she finished her work on it or something, and it's been activated because Chief was classified as a target trying to stop her, just like why the Warden tried to stop Chief in Halo 5. Something interesting that I did spot when I re-watched this trailer was that Chief really doesn't seem shocked or surprised at all when this massive foreigner construct just rises out of the ground, makes a huge-ass crater, and then sends out a big EMP blast. It's almost as if he'd seen a Guardian waking up before, which just adds further support to the idea that this is set after Halo 5. Now, of course, if this stuff is real, then all of it is happening after the events of Halo 5, and considering Halo 5's ending felt very, <laughs> what's the word, abrupt and unfinished, I think that suits it most, it could mean that this trailer was originally intended to be a sort of loose adaptation of some of the events towards the latter end of Halo 5's campaign, but the part of the campaign that it was meant to be depicting was cut. When we look at the links that this trailer has to the end of Halo 5, like Chief's cracked visor, the planet, and the Halo ring, 
it does make sense that this could have originally been a scene from the latter portion of Halo 5's story that was pushed back to be used as a part of Halo 6 instead. People have speculated about part of Halo 5's story getting cut and pushed back to Halo 6 pretty much ever since Halo 5 came out, and it is a good theory, but believe it or not, there may actually be some evidence that supports this that also shows Cortana on a Halo ring. During the sprint, which was that development Vidoc series that 343 did for Halo 5, they showed some storyboarded cutscenes that appear to come directly after Osiris free blue team from the Cryptum at the very end of Halo 5. Now, these screenshots very clearly show Cortana talking to Roland on a Halo ring, and she's in that human form too that we only saw towards the end of the campaign. Now, this really adds fuel to the fire that there was originally more to come after what we got as Halo 5's ending, and it does tie together pretty damn well with Chief being on the Halo ring in the trailer with his poncho on, holding Cortana's chip, and being stopped by the Guardian. Maybe this was a cutscene that was made very early in development and never ended up getting used with the story. Or maybe it was just cut from Halo 5 and it's never going to be used again. Who knows, but please, I need you guys to leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments because I really want to know if we might have just stumbled across something or if we're reaching so goddamn far and our confirmation bias is so damn high that a similar looking crater means that Cortana is going to fire a Halo ring and that Chief has to go undercover to stop her. I do know one thing for sure though, this Halo dry spell <laughs> is sending people fucking crazy. If you ever thought that we didn't need any Halo 6 news sometime soon, <laughs> then seeing the entire community freak out about a tiny little crater should change your mind. So thanks a lot for watching guys, I want to give a huge shout out to the patrons The Ardent Prayer, Alex Agui, Chris G, Jack Madden, Jack Cook Widener, and also everybody else for their hugely generous support. Also thank you for helping me hit 90,000 subscribers, we are so damn close to 100k and just saying that sounds very strange, so thank you to everybody for all of their support, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.